Hey guys, welcome to another TFB TV episode. Today we're at a range qualification of 1st Battalion, 24th Marines in Camp Atterbury, Indiana. And we're going to be looking at some of the processes involved, talking to some of the primary marksmen instru instructors that are out here. And we're going to go about and see how Marines do their thing on the range. Think about uh, Ventura Ammunitions and Grizzly Targets. They're our sponsors. Give a shout out to those guys. We're not using any Ventura Ammunition today, although it would be pretty nice. Just uh, that old Lake City stuff. All right. The Marine Corps is staying every Marine a rifleman. Can you explain that from a PMI's perspective? Uh, sure. So from the perspective of a primary marksmanship instructor, um, primary, mark, primary marksmanship instructor's job is to train entry-level recruits for the most part, um, entry-level shooters. Uh, on how to how to use the fundamentals of marksmanship. Uh, what the Marine Corps does is they train all MOSs or all military occupational specialties uh, how, on the fundamentals of marksmanship. So the concept is, is that no matter you know no matter what MOS you are, there are certain skills that all Marines are required to know, and one of them is how to use their weapon. Well, you know it, it's kind of broken up into two different. Um, Two different uh, sets. So you so you have entry level qualification, entry level training, and then you have annual rifle training. So what all Marines go through, whether you're even in the, whether you're going through TBS as an officer or you're going to Paris Island or MCRD as a recruit, is entry level training. Entry level training constitutes about f uh, five days of class work, where your PMI, you're with your PMI and your drill instructors, or your PMI and your uh, officer instructors um, and uh, you spend five days focusing on the fundamentals that's really just a, that is the concept of every marine or rifleman um, and then you spend five days or five blocks of shooting downrange um, for your entry level training annual rifle training is a little different um, that is what the marines do every uh, ever, are required to do every year to uh, qualify, qualify with their weapon system, whether it be the M16, the M4, or the uh, uh, IAR now. Um, so that is uh, the unit responsibility for that is to provide those virtually the same classes uh, based on the fundamentals of marksmanship, the shooting positions, um, that, how to record a data book, the effects of the weather. All those things that we learn over five days as recruits or as officers in the basic school, uh, the unit is responsible for those things in annual rifle training. So what are you guys' impressions of the range overall? What's like some of the hardest things that you get through on it? Some easiest stuff, favorite strings of fire. Sorry, I'm dancing. Uh, kneeling at the 200 gets me every time. Okay. Uh, so I don't know what it is, but I, I'd rather stand. Go birdie? So the wind calls on the 500. And out here we don't really have any range flags, but how often do you make wind calls at all? Every shot for me. Okay. The chuga? I'd say probably one of the hardest things is just, uh, I can say just standing. Standing? Takes, takes the longest time. Yeah. So just get a better shot. In your head. And you're, you're a coach, right? Correct. So how does, uh, how does that play out? Does that give you a better understanding? Can you talk a little bit about that? It does. I mean, I just, going through the course, uh, I've realized it's a lot of little tactical things that really is going gonna, is gonna to play by your side. People rushing through shots, rushing through the time, and they don't really realize how much time they have. So with the standing, for example, you know, I take, I'm usually the last one off, and I take my time if the shot's not there, sit down, regather myself, and go for it. Okay. And we're all pure KD range, that kind of thing, and none, none of the stuff that happens here usually ever happens in combat. But how, how do you guys think this can translate to training to actually win a gunfight and that kind of thing? Yeah. Just uh, remember to breathe. Fall yeah, is a big thing for me. Uh, trigger control is huge. And uh, one of the things I used to tell my guys in the country is just remember to aim. And that just, for some reason, <laughs> they usually don't. And just, they remember the fundamentals of what they're taught here. So. Yeah. What you got? Um, bottom line is that uh, it's just like, you know, when you, when, you, when, you learn how to, when you learn how to play basketball, you have to learn how to shoot a ball. You learn, you learn how to position your feet to shoot the ball, and you learn how to, how to, or how to hold your elbows, how to hold the ball. Um, and you, it's, it comes down to fundamentals. The KD Course of Fire, Table 1 specifically, well, Table 1 is the KD No Distance Course of Fire in the Marine Corps, uh, it is designed to reinforce the fundamentals. 
the idea is not necessarily, you know, as at least in my perspective, and not what I taught to my recruits, it's not just the fundamentals. It's to reinforce within the, the rifleman or in the recruit or in the officer candidate or the officer that their the confidence in their weapon system, that if they apply those fundamentals to their weapon system, that their weapon system will fire in the manner in which they want it to. Well, the the able target is shot at the 200 and the 300 yard line. Um, the able target is the 12 inch uh, black circle with the six inch rings on either side out to the three ring. Um, the idea is behind it, into, and you know this is the you talked about the combat perspective. Um, at between 200 and 300 yards. Uh, you need to be able to take a, a well-aimed point shot and hit an enemy. So from 200 and 300 yards, we do point shots, you know, and at small black targets. Uh, and, and the idea is that the more lethal, lethal, closer you get to the enemy, the more lethal you need to be with your weapon system. The other thing we do is we shoot rapid fires at the 200 and 300 yard line which reinforces the concept, or should reinforce the concept, that while somebody else is suppressing an enemy, somebody else should be taking a point shot on the enemy. So the dog target that we shoot the rapid fires on um, is shaped as an enemy down in the prone presenting his shoulders and his head to you. So we shoot the rapid fires on that dog target to, to simulate a suppression of an enemy soldier getting into the prone position to take a shot. And then somebody else within the same range, hopefully, is taking a well-aimed shot on that enemy that's going to that's designed to hurt him. The B mod at 500 is designed to represent a standing a standing soldier or a standing enemy. Um, and the concept behind that is that when you are closing, when you're at 500 meters, you're taking shots at targets of opportunity, targets of opportunity that are coming up out of cover running towards you trying to close with you or you're trying to close with them and you are able to take a little more time to take a well-aimed shot on an enemy. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Staff Sergeant. No, my pleasure. Okay. Appreciate it.